Hello there. Um, we're still in the fourth season, still talking about uh, relationships and love affairs. And this video is going to be not necessarily about relationships and um, how they work and the types of relationships and so on, but something that has been affecting relationships in the last decade, but it has started way, way long ago. And what has been affecting relationships in the recent times is mostly the fact that the genders are being presented as enemies, as contraries, as irreconcilable contradictions. And um, this is creating an ambience that puts people as adversaries. A man is looking at a woman nowadays as an enemy as someone who just wants to cause him harm. And the woman is looking at the man the same way, from different perspectives, okay? Because each narrative adapts to a different gender. But what is being sold is that people are enemies. If you see the most recent generation, people who are like now in their early 20s or they are still teens, or maybe, or, uh, maybe even late 20s, these people have been following on, on social media, the influencers that tell them how things are and so on. And what you see in most of the cases is an infinite hatred, uh, a, a resentful feeling, you know, a bitter feeling towards the other uh, gender, towards the, the opposite sex. And um, people have been meeting dealing with each other, engaging into whatever kind of interaction they have with a feeling of, this is my enemy. This person on the other side, this person in front of me, this woman that I'm dating, in the case of a woman, this man that I'm dating, or in case of um, homosexual relationships, the woman that I'm dating, whatever. Um, they have been seeing each other as an adversary, as someone you needed to win in a battle or something like this and someone who is just there to take advantage of you to do you harm and um, having a relationship for the people that have been following these these trends is seen as a weakness as something that is wrong that is not good for your life that is not going to make you prosper and um, that you should uh, invest in yourself and you should only care about yourself and becoming better. And there is this expression, oh, the better version of yourself. And when I see the people talking about that, I see that they want money, possessions, social relevance, and uh, a couple other things that comes as a byproduct of these things. And what I think whenever I see that is... What are these people bringing to the grave from all that money, possessions, social status? Are you bringing any of that to the grave with you? I'm not sure. When you are in your late 70s, in your 80s, or maybe even your, in your 90s, is this what you want to remember from your life? Oh, I got that job that paid me very well. Oh, I got all those properties that I wanted. Oh, I amassed this amount of money. For what? What are you doing with it? Oh, I'm living a happy life. I'm living a stable life. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing with it? You still didn't answer my question. And you still didn't answer my question because you're not doing anything with it. You are just accumulating and trying to raise in the social hierarchy, but just for the sake of it. And I remember when I did a um, finances course many, many years ago, I wanted to invest money. I wanted to, to think of my future. And I remember that the guy that was giving us the, the course, he's a very rich guy. He opened a bank, a private bank. And um, he was asking people, why do you want to make money? Why are you taking this course in order to become rich? And most people, they were answering, I'm doing this because I want to have a safe life. I want to have a lot of money. 
I want to acquire this and that. I want to travel. I want to lead a, a, a wealthy life, a luxurious life. I want to be able to afford whatever I want. And he kept asking people, why, why, why? And I raised my hand to answer as other students were raising their, their hands to answer. And I said, the only reason I can imagine myself becoming really rich is if I can help other people. Because if I'm not going to help other people, I don't need to become rich. I just need decent amount of money to afford my bills, to, to afford the place to live and my travels and my studies because I'm very into studying. I'm very kind of nerdy. I want to learn things. I always want to, to learn something new above all in the areas that I like. And um, when I said that, when I said that I was interested in that, the guy said... Um, you are the only person who should stay in this classroom because this is the kind of people that I'm looking for to teach how to make money. And I never forgot that answer. Is a guy who had a lot of money, who was teaching a lesson for people who wanted to make money as well. And um, he could lose all those students. All those people could look at him and be like, no, I'm here to make money because I want to make money because I want to be rich. And yet he was looking for people that wanted to make money for a purpose, not for the sake of looking at the bank extract and be like, oh, I have a lot of money in my account because you need to do something with that. Same thing goes with your life. Same thing goes with your memories when you're older. Same thing goes for relationships. What do you want to do with it? Because I invest in my appearance. I invest in being healthy in eating, training, um, taking care of my intellect, learning new things, and so on. And I think that all that is very important. But that's not everything in life. That's not the only, these are not the only things you should be aiming for in life. Uh, I'm not telling you you need to have a relationship. I'm not telling you to get married. I'm not married and I'm... Not at, in the foreseeable future, planning to get married. I'm not telling you you need to have kids. I don't have kids. And as for now, I don't plan in having kids. But uh, I don't look at women and hate them. I don't look at women and think they just want my money. They want to ruin my life. They want to do to cause me harm. They want to do this and that. And if I have a relationship, I'm a weak if I have a relationship, I'm not really investing in myself and becoming the best version of myself. I mean, I don't need to spit the things that I have conquered in intellectual terms, in, in sports, in, in my personal life and so on. But I've accomplished a couple of stuff, uh, a, a couple of things. And um, I don't think that those things exclude the fact that I can meet someone be interested in this person, potentially fall in love, have a relationship, and so on. If you ever think that your life should be built about around one topic or around one objective, and that in order to achieve something, you have to give up on everything else, you are probably going through a very dangerous path. I'm not going to tell you you are wrong. I'm not going to tell you you are not going to make it or anything like that. But... You are giving up on living so many things in your life because you believe in order to accomplish what I want, I cannot leave those things. I remember, for example, by the time I started the university that I had a conversation with a friend and she said, I don't have time for anything in my life. And I was like, wow, what have you been up to? I mean, what are you doing? And she said, I started... Um, university she was studying communication i think and publicity and i've started to learn english and i was like and you have no time for anything in your life and she said no and i thought to myself i have two university degrees that i did at the same time parallel one to to, to another i studied i don't know two or three languages at the same time i was at the university i worked i worked out I did martial arts and I had some time to date, meet friends and do other stuff. You know why? Because I was organized. I was very disciplined and I managed to build my schedule around all my interests. 
doing everything that I liked. I never tried to give up on anything. And still, I could sleep, I could eat, I could lead a healthy life. Because you might think, oh, you were not sleeping, you were not eating. No, I was sleeping, I was eating, and I was leading a healthy life. But I tried to really, really, really arrange my schedule in a way in which I could maximize the possibilities, in which I could do more than, than what people thought was possible. And whenever you think, uh, I don't have that time, it is impossible, I can't make it, think of the amount of time you are spending on social media, behind the black mirror, procrastinating, doing things that are not so prosperous, that are not going to bring you much. And you will see that there is time and space for so many things in your life, including a potential relationship. See you in the next episode.